We got the 6.5 Creamore lugged up the mountain right now. Been snowshoeing for about ah, 20 minutes. We're gonna reach out to a thousand and see how many shots we can land out here. March 9th, I'm still wearing snowshoes, so hopefully this gets warm soon and we can uh, get our trucks back on the roads. Gotta give her the old Canadian curb stomp here. See if we can flatten something out solid enough to lay on. Well, I started unpacking my stuff. We got the ammo, we got the gun, we got the cameras, we got some tripods. The only other thing that I was supposed to grab other than my backpack and the gun was a set of ears, which I conveniently left in the truck. So I guess we're gonna walk all the way back down, grab some ears, walk back up. But let me tell you, it is a lot nicer without that backpack and that rifle slung across me. This is gonna be fast. Uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, we got the ear protection now. We're gonna dodge tinnitus for one more day, hopefully. I'm sweating like a turkey on Thanksgiving, so uh, let's get these snowshoes off and get set up here. Oh, yes. Freedom. Usually I prefer to shoot off a mat, but in the winter I just kind of bring a poncho out and use that. Seems to uh, keep me dry enough. Oh, yeah, luxury. Let's get some ammo loaded up here. One. Two, three, four to start. Drop that in there. Okay, I'm usually between about 30 and 31 MOA, so we're gonna dial up 30 and a half. That's 12, 24, plus six and a half is 30 and a half MOA. It was a little bit of a tight bolt close. Let's get lined up here. Where are ya? There it is. We got no wind, but I'm gonna give it uh, four MOA for spin drift. Seems to be about the usual. Maybe level the rifle. Check the parallax. That looks good there. A little blurry. Yeah, right about there. All right. First shot. Stand by. I think that was right. Let's try another one. Stand by. There we go. Bing! Second shot hit, not bad. Try one more, see if it's repeatable. Nice. So this target I think is about 28 inches tall and 18 inches wide, so I think that's three MOA tall by about two wide. So we're not shooting sub MOA, but it's a good shot nonetheless. There's another one. All right. Now we're cooking with peanut oil. Three, four, and five. Okay, let's go for five shots. You guys think I can land all five? I'm not sure, I don't think so, but maybe today we're lucky. Ah, low. Quite a bit low. Yeah, we're definitely not hitting all five. I can't even hit one. All right, focus up. Breathe better. There we go. Nice. Gotta slow it down sometimes.
Swung. Ah. Ah, we got five more shots. This time we're doing all five. I didn't hike up here for nothing. Four. Five. This brass doesn't look like it was tumbled very nicely. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit dirty there. That's all right. Tight to close as well. Whew. Smacking the bolt shut. Okay, we're going five for five here. No, nope, we are not. I didn't see that one. Hmm. Try to shoot that a second time. Hmm. Yeah, yeet. Throw that over there for now. Had a, wasn't a light strike. It looked like it hit it good. Having all kinds of bad luck today. All right, back on. There we go. And one more for the road. Beautiful. Oh, and there's still one left because I can't count. Please don't miss the last shot. I'm going head first down this hill. Ah, head first down the hill we go, boys. Nonetheless, good shooting. Well, we're all packed up and walking out now. Definitely did a bit of missing there. Um, I'm rusty on the trigger. It's hard to get the distance in in the winter here. But we got outside, we touched some grass. I guess there's not really any grass out here, just snow. But we touched some snow, got a little cold, put in the work. And now all my brass is ready to get prepped and reloaded. So, yeah. Thanks for stopping by everyone. We'll uh, try it again next time. Hopefully it's a little bit nicer out.